Hi, I'm Dave Gatani, the Product Manager for Inspector Live. Today we'll be looking at the Inspector Live support for SCTE 35. We've made some enhancements to the SCTE 35 reporting. We also call this SCUDI 35. The Inspector Live now decodes all optional descriptors in the SCUDI 35 2017 spec. Decoded SCUDI 35 information is now available in the Inspector Live's UI, IVMS, and through the Data Extract API. As you can see in the screen capture below, the Inspector Live displays all the optional descriptors, including a full capture of the private field bytes. We're now looking at the mosaic view of the Inspector Live. Under the Diagnostic menu, we click on that, you'll see our SCUDI 35 events menu, so click on that. And this brings up the SCUDI 35 events page. Up the top of the page, you have information to filter by date. You have the ability to filter by the SCUDI 35 command type. And then you can select the program. Additional information on the top of the page is the expand all and then the collapse all. We can export this report, which I'll show you in a minute. And then in the column selector, you can decide which columns you want to display by clicking or unclicking. To look at a specific event, you'll notice that there's now a plus sign beside that event. So if I click on that plus sign, it'll now display, in addition to the standard features that inspector had previously received time program flow, add pre-roll, add duration, etc. You'll notice that all the optional descriptors, descriptors are in here now. So splice descriptor tag, segmentation event tag, and, and additional information. So we can look at each individual event by clicking on the plus or the minus sign to collapse it, the plus sign to expand it. If we wanted to expand all rows in the report, that's what this expand all button at the top would be used for. Okay, so I'm going to collapse those. Now, if I wanted to export this report, I'd click on the export button, give it a name. We can add additional comments if needed, and then generate the report. While that report is generating, You'll notice that there's a name of a file down here, and now it's saved to your local laptop or computer. Additional information is on this page is for this event, you can also launch the visual trending screen in Inspector by clicking on this icon. And that will bring us to the visual trending time report for this event. And you can correlate between the time in the report and the time on the visual trending screen, but it will help you get an idea of what was happening at that time. So that ends our demo. Thank you for your time.